Hello, I'm John Kneebone. Welcome to Mainline Baits Coral Fishing TV and another how to video where today we're going to be showing you how to put together a slip D rig. Sounds good to me, so let's get started. I'm going to be tying this rig with a Soy 6 curve shank hook and some coated braid like this. We'll also be incorporating an anti-tangle sleeve at one end of the rig along with a small piece of shrink tubing over the eye of the hook to form a kicker. If you've been watching our how-to videos you'll probably have a good idea why I've got a small piece of lead core wire that I've saved from making my lead core leaders. We're going to use that to wrap around the rig, make an anchor point for attaching some putty. I'm going to set the rig up with an essential cell balance wafter in 15mm and then we'll also need a little micro swivel for attaching our hook bait to the rig. And that's going to be attached to some floss that we're going to have to secure and blob in place with a lighter. You'll also need some sharp scissors and a standard boily baiting needle. I'll also be using some pulley tools for straightening the hook link and pulling down the knots. Okay, the first thing I've done to begin the rig is remove around about 4 inches of the outer coating on the braid just to expose that soft inner. We can then remove around about 10 to 12 inches of the hook link going down back from that exposed section, just snip that off. So now we've got our hook link section. Right, and go back to the, the soft braid that you've exposed by taking away that outer coating and just make a long folded back loop like so. You just want to pinch that down just so it folds down nice and fine so that you can thread it through one end of the micro swivel. There you can see there that loops going through the micro swivel and now we can now pass the hook through the loop section behind the micro swivel to create our D section and then we take both ends of the hook link through the eye. So I've took the long section through first, then the shorter tag end, take that through as well and just align everything up now just to get the right length of D section that you want. I kind of want my D to begin round about opposite the barb of the hook like so. And now we can tie a simple knotless knot. And I'm using a six turn knotless knot here, so that's six turns down. And then take that hook link back through the eye of the hook to complete the knot. Just make sure it's all nice and straight and neat. And there we go, that's the hook secured into place via the knotless knot. And now that just that little bit of tag end there that's left, we'll just trim that away, there's no need for that. And now we can take a small piece of the shrink tubing to create a kicker to help the hook spin and turn in the fish's mouth. And I'm going to cut that off there fairly long, around about 12mm of shrink tubing. Now you can use a pre-made kicker if you'd prefer to do that. So I'm going to thread that piece of shrink tubing down the hook link. And just get a nice grip of the hook link just so that it doesn't suddenly slide in the hook into my finger as I slide this piece of shrink tubing over the eye. Just to extend it and give us a nice kicker like so. Okay, now we can add the anti-tangle sleeve just thread the hook link through that that's really going to neaten up one end of the rig and obviously help prevent tangles in the process so now i'm going to create a figure of eight loop knot at the end of the hook link so that we can attach it to our terminal tackle so make one big loop like so and then just fold that back over itself to create a second loop then take your first loop behind that second loop like so, can be a little bit fiddly. So I like to take my baiting needle, I pass that through the second loop to pull the first loop back through. Just take your time at this point. And there we go, we've created our figure of eight loop knot. I've just licked my fingers there just to add some moisture to that knot before I pull it down, nice and tight with the pulley tool. 
there we go just pull that knot down it can be a bit fiddly that knot but it is really strong so all we need to do now is just trim off that tag end don't need that just get rid of that and there we go we've got a nice loop there so we can attach it to a quick change swivel so now just take that anti-tangle sleeve we added to the hook link earlier on feed it up over that knot and there we go we've got a nice neat loop knot ready for attaching the rig okay back to that piece of lead core wire that i showed you at the beginning and we're just going to add that around about a couple of inches away from the hook down the hook link and just wind it around the hook link just keep going and then what we do is we just pinch those those turns down just so they all butt up nice and neatly to each other the wire is ever so brittle you can just snap it off at both ends and what we're doing here is creating the perfect grippy anchor point for adding a small blob of putty so there we go that's that's all those coils of wire just neatly wrapped around the hook link so now we can just grab our putty just pinch off just a little piece and then just mold that around that those coils of, of lead wire that we've that we've wrapped around the hook link and it just gives that putty a nice secure place to keep hold it won't fall off and there we go we can just mold that down into a nice neat barrel like shape okay now we can attach our hook bait so we're going to take our dental floss just going to pull off four or five inches of the floss there just trim that away then take the rig, find that micro swivel on the D-section, just thread that floss through so that we've got two tag ends of the same length. There we go. Now we can take one of our balance wafters, thread that onto the baiting needle, and then I just like to wrap that floss over my index finger just so I can pinch it nicely with the baiting needle and thread on the wafter there we go and then it's just a case of finding which side of the loop is the loose side so the tag ends so that you can pull them through and then get a good grip of both tag ends and pull that hook bait down onto the swivel so we want that swivel actually inserted into the hook bait as you can see here and that swivel is actually gripping the hook bait already but just to doubly secure that hook bay into place we just trim off those tag ends take our lighter just carefully just slowly melt down those tag ends flatten off the blobs with the back of the lighter and there we go that's our hook bait securely in position the rig's really taken shape now there's only one more thing to do and that's to carefully without burning yourself or damaging the rig shrink down the shrink tubing over the eye of the hook and that's going to create an aggressive angle to help the hook turn and grab hold and that's it that's our slip d rig all tied up and ready to go we've got an aggressive quick turning hook set up at one end and a quick change loop with anti-tangle sleeve at the other as i said earlier i like to tie the figure of eight loop knot so that i can attach the rig to a quick change swivel neaten everything up with an anti-tangle sleeve and you can use that with a lead clip system or above the lead on a heli system. Here we can see the mechanics of the slip D where the hook bait will be ejected over the eye helping to secure a good strong hook hold. Here you can see that our 15mm balance wafter is presented perfectly. It's hovering above that hook laying flat on the lake bed. But alternatively if you would like to fish this rig so that it's just that little bit more balanced and resting on the hook point here I've used a cork dust wafter and I've just tipped that off with a little topper just to give that extra little bit of buoyancy. Thanks for watching, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, hit that notification button so you know when the next video is coming out 
If you don't yet subscribe to the channel, please hit that subscription button below. It's really important. And if you would like to watch more how-to videos, I'll leave links to those videos here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.